Well, there seems to be a bump in my plans for having students upload a picture into our, the written response area of quizzes on desire to learn, also known as Brightspace in my university. So here is my compromise. I did email desire to learn, but I have not heard back. I'm sure they're very overwhelmed. Um, so <clears throat> this is what my announcements look like. And you notice here for my quizzes, there's the quids, <clears throat> and then they're going to upload their written responses as a photo or or a PDF scan right, <clears throat> into an assignment box. So how, how do I get here, and, and how did I set that all up? <clears throat> so if we go to assignments, you'll see there's my homework. That's where they've been uploading their homework. And there's my quizzes, my test two. <clears throat> and so one of the things that I'm going to show you how to do is to set this up now for the written responses and then go back to the quizzes and show you how to link these things together. So I can create a new assignment. <clears throat> so I am up to quiz three because we got one, two, and then the test. <clears throat> so I'm going to create a new assignment. This is going to be the quiz three, right? Um, written response upload area. <clears throat> and here I will put, this is where, oops, where you will upload your work for the written responses. Quiz three. <clears throat> Your, your work and answers must match the answers <clears throat> posted within the quiz. So this is one way that I've gotten around my problem and <clears throat> um, is that I need them to actually have a timed quiz. <clears throat> and so this is how I'm going to correspond this. I'm also going to change dates for and times, I was letting them have some flexibility taking their quizzes and now that's just going to have to go away. And then <clears throat> I don't have any attachments and I'm going to have to create, I, I created a, a graded item <clears throat> that's not necessarily necessary because you can look at the work and then just put that grade into the quiz, which is what I'm going to do. I could create rubrics <clears throat> for, for problems. I could also use, right? <clears throat> so for instance, I could create a rubric and call it um, quiz problem solutions rubric. <clears throat> And here I can have, so there are three points. <clears throat> so I could create something that looks like this, <clears throat> where perhaps this is one point, this is point five, <clears throat> this is, can't be less than or equal, because oh, ah, I'm, this is point two five, and this is zero. <clears throat> And so now I'm set. So criterion one could be something like, um, oh, <clears throat> includes what is given using appropriate variables and units, <clears throat> um, selects correct equations for solution for problem. <clears throat> right, and then the next one could be so it's three points, right? So, <clears throat> so I could set up something else now. Oops, sorry. Um, maybe so this is just setting it up. <clears throat> um, uh, let's see, does any necessary conversions? <clears throat> 
uh, eh, whoops. mathematical problem solving is a appropriate, you know, like algebra. <clears throat> and then criterion three could be that correct answer with units, <clears throat> additional, should be answers, some of them have multiple parts, <clears throat> additional questions answered. Right, and so this would be my three points <clears throat> for, say, each one. And make sure that that's... And, and the overall score is always so weird. I don't know why it doesn't actually adjust. It's weird. Because it's three points. And now, <clears throat> overall score. All right. And it's saved, so now I can go down. Look like everything is okay. And I can close. <clears throat> <clears throat> and so this would be just the rubric for each of the problems, just if I wanted to include a rubric, right? And oh, now it of course booted me out of where I was, <clears throat> which is in the assignments. I don't know why it does that. It's really kind of, oh, oh, that's because I'm over here and I have to click on another tab. Oops, so add rubric, general. Oh, that's the homework one. Quiz problem solution, do, 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 add selected. <clears throat> I don't care about that stuff. And then I'm gonna have restrictions. So I'm gonna have to remember what date I had for this particular quiz. <clears throat> for right now, we'll unhide it because it doesn't really matter. And this is a later quiz, so I'll just take a shot that it's the 16th. <clears throat> I'm gonna make it closer to the times of the course. <clears throat> Oops, no. that's the beginning of the class, so make it one <clears throat> and then it has a start date and it's going to be the same day which is a big change for how i originally set up my quizzes but so be it since i have to do it this way <clears throat> and then i can create and attach a restriction and so my restriction is going to be that they actually took a quiz, <clears throat> right? So one completed quiz attempt. <clears throat> they only get one attempt. And then this is quiz three. Oh, I didn't set up quiz three yet. So for right now, we'll just, we'll make it quiz one just for demonstration purposes. <clears throat> and we'll create, later on, we'll, we'll modify that. I have to create my quiz. And so here we are. <clears throat> I've set up my, my quiz three written response area. So I'm gonna save and close. And now I'm gonna go to assessment and I'm gonna go down to quizzes. And I need to create my quiz three. And I don't remember now since I've been doing so much lately. I can't remember if I set up things for, yes, I did. I set up um, the multiple choice questions for this particular quiz. <clears throat> and so I'll, I'll kind of pause for a second and create some other questions and then we'll kind of go from there. All right, I'm gonna show you how to really cheat for, or make your life easier for creating some of our quiz questions that are written response. So this is just an old quiz. And I will tell you that a lot of times, a desire to learn is not made for mathematical based disciplines. And doing things like 45 degrees and having 
picture sometimes is problematic. So here's my new sh lovely shortcut. So I come in, I use the snipping tool, which is just something that comes with Windows operating systems, apparently. And I say new, and I go in, and I've, I've just modified my quiz a little bit so that it, this can all just fit in a picture. <clears throat> there it all is. I copy it. <laughs> and now I'm going to go into my question library. I'm going to create a new section. And my new section is going to be quiz two, right, which is chapter 20, 22, 23, right? <clears throat> and it, it's the, the written response problems. <clears throat> and sometimes I like to shuffle them only because it makes students think that maybe they've gotten different quizzes. <laughs> and now I'm going to go into that area. So there's my written responses. There's my multiple choice questions. I'm going to go in here. And now I'm going to create a new written response. <clears throat> and I'm just going to post my picture. And so voila. Right. It's going to be worth three points. <clears throat> and now I'm going to also give them some instructions. <clears throat> right, so, and, and here's the instruction I've been giving, which is provide, whoops, provide your numerical results within the text box below and upload all of your problem solutions as a photo or PDF file into the associated assignment folder in Brightspace. And so I've just literally been, whoops, copying this text. So then I can just go in and put it into the next one. So copy, make sure I copied all of it, <clears throat> right? And now I can save. Look at it. it's even bigger than the problem. <laughs> I can I can well not easily. I can make this bigger. Oh, that's pretty hideous. And that's why God made undo. Doesn't it's not necessarily good at keeping proportions, but I think it'll be good enough. So and then we'll hit save I forgot to turn the HTML thing on but it doesn't matter because they're not gonna HTML in there and and desire to learns text boxes for written response are just again not made for any kind of mathematical solution it's just the reality or as I've started saying these online classroom management systems are really set up so that you you are teaching something with only written responses that are words. <clears throat> so not friendly for formula, it's just the way it is. And I've found a, a number of ways to get around that, including making equations, pictures, and things like that. Um, all right, so now I'm going to go in. Here is my second problem. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to say new. And I'm going to capture this one. It's a little shorter, so it shouldn't be so scrunched up, maybe. And now I'm going to come in here. I'm going to make a new written response. Oh, dang, I forgot. And I copied this without typing in my... Oh, and I don't know why it made it an F. So we're going to undo that. Undo. Undo. Control-Z, it's the world's greatest off option. Oh, and I have no idea where that F came from. That's just bizarre. Well, there's not an F there. Well, who knows where that came from? Technology's only good when it works. What? Where is this F? There is no F. Now that's just hunky-dory. 
All right, so we'll just, I don't know, we'll try this again. You know, technology is only awesome when it works. We're just going to make it really tight. We'll see if that solves our bizarre problem. Otherwise, there's just going to be a random F there. There's just going to be a random F there. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, it's that part. Ah, I gotcha. I'm not paying attention. All right. So here, we're going to make this an A. It's just this, this time, it's just word being possessed. Because that's what word does always. <clears throat> and so now we'll go in and we'll new there we go that ought to fix that and there we go copy try this one more time yay our points are three i can enable the html editor it doesn't really matter and then i will remind them that they will right Provide your your answers within the text box below, and upload your problem solutions into the Briet assignment folder for this quiz on Brightspace. <clears throat> and just like the other time, and it's going to be bigger than, but that's fine. It's huge. Hey, do you think they'll miss it? I don't know. And I didn't have to do that. I could have gone in and just, right, <clears throat> that one didn't have a picture, so I could have just gone in and said, well, instead of doing that, oh, look, that's just, and apparently that in, li in lies the problem of these things. So I could come over here and I could just delete this. And instead I could go in, this isn't gonna be so bad. And I could just copy, go in and, oops, here I'm just gonna do Control V. And I just tend to keep the formatting. <clears throat> And there's the provide the answers. And unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be an easy way. Options. Uh, and it doesn't. Sometimes desire to learn makes me a little crazy. <clears throat> right? And so now I can tell which one it is. And that's. All right. So there's my two questions. And now I'm ready to go. I'm done editing my questions, and now I'm going to go into to create a new quiz. And I'm going to have to go peek at my, my new schedule to see when quiz. All right, so here is my new Corona version of my class. It's a half semester class. So we met one time before all of this stuff went down. So it's due on the 16th. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to create my new quiz. It's quiz three. And I've been reminding them what each thing is, what it's associated with, right? Category, my quiz questions. So I'm going to add my questions. <clears throat> And so to add the multiple choice questions, I'm going to go new question pool random selection. And this is just going to be called the multiple choice section. And I'm going to pick eight until I've done a lot of these. And now I'm going to browse the question library. I'm going to come over here and there are my multiple choice questions. So I'm going to add this. I have many more than eight, so 0.5 per question. Oh, look at that. It actually knew that. That's uh, actually awesome. And, and I have 14 questions, so it's going to randomly select eight. And we'll make sure that I've answered all my questions. All right. 
And so that's going to be save. And now I'm going to add another section, right? Or I can just import, but I've been doing a new section in my quiz, right? Which is written response. Two problems, three points each, right? <clears throat> I remind them again to provide their answers to each question in the text box. I'm sure eventually I won't have to do this all the time. <clears throat> and upload your written solutions into the quiz three assignment folder. I shuffle the questions because then sometimes they think they are different somehow. And now I'm going to go into here and I'm going to just upload my short questions that I already created. Again, I'm just making them shuffle because I want them to potentially think they all have different quizzes. Not if they watch this video. And now I'm done editing my questions. <clears throat> and now I'm ready to set up my restriction. So here we go, right? <clears throat> I do one question per page, mostly because I think they're potentially doing this on their phone, which is also why I'm allowing them to upload pictures into the assignment folder, not just necessarily PDF. So th those are certainly easier to mark up. And so here I remind them that for this timed quiz, you may use your textbook notes, etc. Notes, Ramlo, Cliff Notes, which I provide, <clears throat> or and or your own equation sheets. Notice that I just keep telling they're going to upload their work for written, oops, written response problems into the associated assignment folder. This is why I'm really glad my father made me take typing. Right, <clears throat> it's on. I have been telling students also that the only people who get extended time are those who have a letter from the accessibility office. So now I'm going to unhide from users. It has a due date, it's the 16th. And this class ended at one. So I'm giving them a little bit of flexibility but not a great deal because that's just the way this is going to go <clears throat> since they can't just upload things into the quiz. <clears throat> so I, and I have an exception for somebody, but we'll, we'll get to that. Um, da -da -da. I display it in the calendar so nobody can tell me they didn't know. I'm not using Respondus. Um, maybe I would use Respondus if um, something else was going on. Right. And I've been letting them have 40 minutes to do this. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to make it 60 minutes. Maybe I'll make it 60 minutes for everybody. It's really kind of extended time for everybody. I'm enforcing it. <clears throat> And so I could add special access. And I have to do that, right, for somebody who um, actually has new work hours thanks to our current situation. But I'll add him later because I can't do it without revealing his name. And then I'm going to go to assessment. I'm going to allow attempt to be graded immediately upon completion. That just grades the part that's not written response. I could just have them, right, do the the answer, right, <clears throat> as just the answer and 
but that frankly doesn't work well either <laughs> um, because it has to match. You can't do like 10 to raise to the 6 because it doesn't like math. <clears throat> Graded item is going to be quiz 3. And its short name is quiz 3. And because <clears throat> that's maximum 10 points, and I exclude everything from the final grade because also a problem is that desire to learn cannot handle the fact that I dropped the lowest quiz grade, that things are weighted. It just it does not work well. All right, <clears throat> and so there we have it. Um, I believe I've gotten everything in here. So I can save and close. And so there it is in my list of quizzes. <clears throat> and now I'm going to go back to my assignments. And I'm going to go down to, here's my homework problem. And I'm going to edit this. And then I'm going to show you how to reorganize these things. And so there's my problems. I'm going to go over to restrictions. And, right, this was actually the 16th was the day. And the due date was actually, for the quiz, was 1. <clears throat> so maybe I'll give them a little extra time to then go over here and upload. Right, so 115. And then the start date is going to be the 16th. And again, so this, this just makes it so that <clears throat> it's harder to, to cheat. And here is my, right, <clears throat> attach and create. I should have removed, hold on. I'm going to remove, remove all conditions. One. Oh, there are no conditions. Oh, I thought I did. Okay, never mind. <clears throat> so attach and create. So it's going to be that they have completed a quiz attempt. And then which quiz is going to be quiz three. I'm going to create that. <clears throat> And so all conditions have to be met. And like I said, I'm going to have to go in and add a user for special access and have the time for him to take this quiz at, and upload everything as later. Check all of my properties. I always like to do a once over. I don't know where it gets the score. It's out of 20, but hey, whatever. It's actually out of six. <clears throat> there we go. There's my rubric. Should really have one of those for each one, and I, I probably actually won't necessarily. Oh, oh, that's, oh, that's not even the one I want. Yeah. No, I wanted the rubric for, oh, that's why it was 20, because I added the wrong rubric. <laughs> it's not this one. It was quiz problem solution rubric. But I would actually need that for two things, so I'm actually going to. problem one and problem two so we'll I'll I'll change that later so that it I could just use the rubric easily um, however adding it to the quiz will be problematic so I might not do that I might just add it all into the quiz instead it, that'll make it so much easier when I download everything um, into my spreadsheet which is how I'm doing that all right so now I want to 
I want to do more actions. I want to reorder things. Right, so you notice that I have chapter 10 homework, quiz 1 written response, chapter 11 homework. Quiz 2 is over chapter 11, and then 12. Chapter 12 homework, and then it's their test. And so quiz 3 goes with this homework problem, so this is number 7, so I'm going to make this number 8. Right, so that now when I go in, it'll be easier for students to find because it'll be in, thank you, stupid computer, it'll be in an order, like literally the order that they will use each one of these. Right. Oh, and apparently when I did this, I forgot to take off the always nice hide from users which is why it's very handy to have those little icons mm, this just tells you has release conditions this one also forgot to turn off the hide from users under restrictions it's always a good idea to to look closely as you scan down the list of assignments to make sure that it makes sense. <clears throat> oh, this one just means that it's, that there's special access given. <clears throat> so that's the guy that, that has new work conditions. And I'll have to add that to, um, not the homework, but to this one as well. And that's pretty much it.